Hello and welcome to another episode of Course Correction. I am on vacation. I continue to say that, yet I continue to work. Anyway, this week I sat with an amazing woman. You guys, she shook me from her amazement when I saw her on Instagram, so I had to bring her on. And her name is Sapphire. She goes by only one, the number one, Sapphire on Instagram. And this conversation just takes a turn and we just get real spiritual and I just love it. Um, So if you guys want to hear what we talked about, then you just keep listening. But before, before you keep listening, make sure that you are visiting Eventbrite to pick up your tickets for Ladies Take the Stage Last Chance Market. It's going down. We got a lot of great things in store. Make sure you're following me on Instagram on all of my mini pages at MS Creative AF, at Between Us Girls Podcasts, and at Last Chance underscore Ladies Take the Stage. So that you can see everything that is popping off about the event. It is going to be great. It's 12, 21, 4 p.m. Lions Heart Event Center is going down. And just keep listening. So, yes, hello. Welcome to an episode of Course Correction. Hopefully this makes it to the YouTube because we can do it as a video. That would be lovely. Um, I am your host, Michelle, as usual. And today I have a, a beautiful guest with me. Um, she's amazing. I know you guys can see her, but I'm looking at her and she's glowing. So I'm going to let her introduce her fabulous self to you guys right now. Hi guys, I'm Sapphire. Um, my Instagram is only one Sapphire. I have a YouTube channel called Sapphire Speaks in which I speak about healing and manifestation and just some tips and tools we can all use to live our best life. Absolutely. Oh, you sound like you are on the same way. Uh-huh. I've been working on it. <laughs> so how long have you been studying? Um, oh my gosh, I want to say that my whole life has been a tribute to, <laughs> to this. So um, I've spent some years doing it. Um, I want to say, honestly, about 10 years. Wow. Okay. So then tell us, which I know there are many things, but what was like the first thing that you manifested and you realized, wow, this really does work? Um, my husband. Okay. Right? Like, he is, he stepped out of every book that I'd written, everything that I desired and that I needed. Like, he has been that. He's been that thing. And I was like, oh, I got something. Hold on. It's so okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out. I'm a magician. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's do this. <laughs> That's really amazing. And actually, like, he is a really delightful guy. And I was going to reach out to him about something um, unrelated, of course. And we'll do that. But yeah, like, you guys, whenever we first met, I liked your vibe. You you just kind of sat there, but you were quiet and you watched and you were like, you know, like, you had a piece about you. So, like, I, I wonder, is that one of the things that helps you be a better uh, manifester or better at manifestation? It really does. Um, Knowing yourself, understanding that um, a lot of the things that people are doing are just projections. They're Mm -hmm. going like everybody's going through some shit. You don't know exactly what a person is going through. And so they have a tendency to project their fears or their insecurities on you. And Mm -hmm. it's always knowing that I'm okay. At the end of the day, I'm okay. You know, mm-hmm. so even if you're mad or whatever, oh, okay, you know, with that fuck shit, whatever. But right. I'm good. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Like, good. you know, and being that, I'm, I'm sorry, keep going. No, go ahead. First of all, is the back of my room clean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, being that, um, you know, this is like my first year, like, practicing and just like really getting to know myself and figuring out who I am and walking my right path and you know seeing my manifestations and I must say that every time I'm mind blown and then of course the gratitude comes but I'm like damn like like to know that you could really be living your whole life that way right it's like oh shut up thank it's mind-blowing because we're not 
you know? And I think that's why like people like you and like myself who are sharing the tools are really doing the Lord's work, but really doing like the work, you know what I mean? Because that's what we came here for. Exactly. Exactly. People think, you know, like a lot of times people think that it's so into religion. And for me, you know, it's, it's a way of life. It's just, it's like breathing. It is what it is. When you align, you can manifest whatever it is that you want to. And there are so many people that I have studied, you know, the Oprah's, the Lisa Nichols, the Abraham Hicks, who are just like, my girl. <laughs> right. Like you get up and you get in tune and you get aligned and it happens. And I think with us, so much of our life is in struggle. Mm. Like we're so bogged down with the struggle. We're so bogged down with the the pressures of the life that we get kind of caught up in that and we get, you know, our eyesight gets um taken away from what is really going on. Like we have to understand it's always gonna be some shit. Like There's always going to be some shit. You have to find a way to keep your peace in the midst of the shit. Because, you know, like, you can have everything that you desire, everything that you manifest, and some shit's going to pop off. Still. Right. Like, this is part of life. Life is doing what what it does. And that's, that is really the basis of this whole thing. And that's why I, I even was like, oh my God, I got to talk to her because right at that moment was kind of when I was realizing it's really always going to be some shit. Like right. I can't, you can't manifest away life. You right. know what I mean? You just, cause I mean, first of all, there's an ebb and a flow, always a negative and a positive of everything because it's all, but when I had to realize that it really shook me up because I was like, damn so I have been stopping myself from success or I have been stopping myself from being happy because the things haven't changed I changed you know mindset changed and it's not easy every day like that's the thing it's like there you go and I'm and I'm wondering does it get easier because that's why I started that morning vibe Mm -hmm. because I have to get up every day and go to this job that I still cannot stand Right. But I mean, the people there haven't changed. Right. I'm doing my very best. Right. You know, but sometimes circumstances just, you just don't vibe. So I'm I'm looking for a way out of it, but I had to find a way to go to work because Mm -hmm. my kids got to eat and I'm not there yet. Granted, I'm going, but I'm not there yet, you know? So that's why I started that morning vibe. But I would like to hear from you, somebody who has been doing this a lot longer than me, if it gets easier to find your way. Does it get easier? You, oh girl, no. <laughs> okay, what so happens, no. Life's like, still going to life. And that's the thing. <laughs> what it is, is you deal with it a lot better. That's mm. what it is. Because you start to realize, I'm just buying my time here. I'm just passing through. Like, yeah. And these people are here as pawns in your life to test you to see mm. if you are worthy of what it is that you say that you want. Mm. and that's the thing am I worthy of it okay well let me see let me see and that's all they're doing is testing you this is I mean once I got into the mindset of I deserve so much more Mm. this right here is just me passing through and I'm a person who I like you're talking about jobs that you cannot stand girl please I have had so many of those I have like seriously and I'm a big person who always says well okay if it's your will you know for me to be at this job then you know I'll be here and if not like I've been taken off a job just like that and I'm like okay well what what am I supposed to do <laughs> how am I supposed to feed my family what am I right. supposed to do right so it's Not faith, I guess right so it's understanding that this is just you just making your way through it you are, you're making your way through it and you're being tested. What it is that is on the other side of this test is so much bigger and better for you. It has so much more to offer for you. And what, when you get that thing, you're going to have people that are just like that there. Right. And that right. is that the shit doesn't change. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like my boyfriend and I were just talking about the cards. I've been reading the, um, uh, playing cards mm-hmm. and like the spades card is like that it's gonna be some shit you right. know 
And he was like, oh, you just need to take the queen of spades out the deck. I said, "Uh -uh." (laughs) because that's how life works. You know, like it's the same way. You can't remove, you know, you got to keep, you got to keep it in. Right. You find a way to maneuver around it. Like, okay, I already know when I come here, you're going to have this shit. You're going to do this and you're going to act like this. Okay. So let me find a way to put you in my pocket and minimize you. And take all the little air out your sails because you honestly ain't worth it. It's not worth it. And then when you get ready to go to the place that, or you're in the place where you're supposed to be, then you'll understand exactly why. Because you don't deal with some shit there. Yeah, because it's it's probably going to be heavier. Right. Right now. And like, I told myself that I was going to be out of there this week, bitch. You know, today I was like so devastated. Well, I'm still at this job, but I know that there's something for me to do there. Right. The thing is, is that I, I become frustrated in defining it. Mm-hmm. And I know it's not for me to find, but I'm just like, I'm so ready because I'm like, is it that I'm supposed to help my friends get promotions? Am I supposed to whistleblow something? Like, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Right. Um, and so I've been trying to like kind of not hone in on that, but I'm trying to get that message because I would like to know which direction to move in. Right. So like when you feel like you are in a place like that, what is your practice for finding out what your next steps are? So I am big on meditation and I am big on on talking to my creator and the universe and all of that. Like I go sit on my girl, my husband to tell you, I'm goofy as fuck. I'll go sit outside in the backyard, barefoot and everything, like grounding. I'm big with all of that. And I ask, I say, I need help. Mm-hmm. This is bigger than me. And I need your help. And I need an answer. I right. need an answer for this. And I need it to be made plain. I need it clear with clarity. Don't send me birds on a, no, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I need, I need, like, I need it to be made clear. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? If I am, if my time here is done, then I need you to make that apparent and I need it to be done easily so that I can follow the path that I need to be on. Right. Because I'm telling you when I've, I've done this a couple times and I've been like that, the job will just end, shut off, then it closed off the department. You've been pushed somewhere else. What? It was just there yesterday. What are you talking Uh about? And when you, and the thing about it is that we're not supposed to do all of this on alone. We're not, we're not supposed to do this on our own. We've put so many baggages on us and so many weights on us. Like this is our burden to carry. It's not, it is absolutely not. You say, I need help. I need to know what I'm supposed to do clearly. You know, with clarity, open up the doors, open up my eyes so that I can see. And the answer comes when I tell you the answer will come. And you'll be like, what the hell? What? Okay. All right. Now, now I might be a little bit scared, you know. Girl, okay. You, you know what? I have, a, <laughs> I have a story like that. Mm-hmm. Um, is the back of my room clean? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I have a bunch of records. <laughs> you but, um, okay, so... This was right before I had Healthy Vibes event. That was in uh, se- September. And I was just feeling so overwhelmed with it all because I was pretty much planning it and executing it kind of by myself. You know, I had some help, but it was like two of us. So, like, really, like, that's... Right. People. And I got one of my dad's record sleeves. So I have a bunch of my dad's old records. I got one of the sleeves, and I just started writing on it. I need help. I need help. I need support and I just don't know how to do this by myself. And I just, I, I can't get through it alone. Right. And I was listening to this Stevie wonder album. Cause like we had a flood in our house in the eighties. And so the, the, some of these albums haven't been played in 30 years. Mm-hmm. So I was listening to the Stevie wonder records. I had to like rip the paper open. So I know I was going to get a whooping if he knew, you know, cause he's passed away. Right. But, um, I wrote on that one and I played the record. And the song that played right after that was Don't You Worry About a Thing. Right. And I was like, okay. But that's, that's how how that's how God speaks to us. That's yeah. how 
that's how we are getting our messages through mm-hmm. through music. We're getting our messages very clearly, and there it's just waiting on us to ask for help. It's like, oh, okay, we're gonna let her tire herself out until she realizes she this is not a battle she's supposed to fight by herself. Like, right. All we have to do is ask for help. Look, this right. this is something bigger than me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I need your help, and help will come. Like, and- Yes. And let me tell you how it came. And this is just so crazy because I'm about to go visit with them in a little bit. Um, so one of my vendors, she called me up and she was like, Mm-mm, you need to take a deep breath. And I was like, oh, and so like she started reading me like right away. And I was like, OK, so here's my help. And so then there was another girl that was one of my vendors and we had started talking and we got had got to talking and we started talking about spirituality and so like we connect sometimes to do like moon work together and like you know just supportive of each other and that kind of thing but that was what i needed you right. know that when i was saying i need help that right. that was what it was that i needed right. and i'm so grateful and i felt i felt honored that it had happened that quickly and that they came to me you know right. what i mean right instead of you having to go yeah try yeah. <laughs> right because that's how you know it's real like you really lined up when right. it happens that way. yeah the answers are there we just have to be open to them we have to ask for help and yeah the help is ready it's all ready we just yeah. have to be open for it align all that little stuff exactly like that was the one that got me was the law of allowing because whenever i learned that i was like okay so i'm blocking me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'm blocking me and so I tried, that's why I try to make sure that I do my vibe. Even if I'm in a, like a grouchy mood, like over the weekend, I knew I was in a fucked up mood. <laughs> a, a, a chair fell on top of me at Ross, like off this thing. And I was like, let's go home. <laughs> and I was supposed to go out that night, but I just went to bed and I, you know, cause it was like, I was on my period or whatever. Right. So a little bit cranky right. and it just wasn't right. Like, you know, you know, you just don't be right. And I know Esther's always like, just go take a nap. <laughs> if you take that, so I was like, I need to, I'm just gonna go to bed because I mean, sometimes it's hard to turn it around. So, like, what are some of your tools that you use, like, if you need to turn it around real quick? So, I make sure I, I stay outside, mm. I connect with nature. I'm really big on that with staying outside and um, just looking at the universe and finding gratitude in the little things. Like, mm. looking, I take much time to look back on where I came from. And I realize a lot of times that, you know, we we skim over those things. You mm-hmm. know, we're so big with going to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing that we forget that you're at a place where you you were praying for. You were praying to be here. And right. I'm here, you know, and I treat people. I treat the, I mean, and I know this is so cliche, but I treat the janitor the same way as I treat the person who opens, you know, owns the building. That's mm-hmm. just me. And so those people give back to me and those people bless me. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you look beautiful today. Uh, you know, they come, they find me. <laughs> they find me here. Here's something. Here's something for you. I thought about you, you know, yeah. cooking this and that and here. And it's finding gratitude in everything. Like mm. absolutely everything. Like, yeah, this was a fucked up moment. Of, okay, this this right here, this fucked my day up. Okay, mm. but tomorrow I'm back on my shit. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be back shit. home tomorrow. Right. Like we can't let the last 24 hours bleed into these next 24 hours. Leave that shit right. where it is. Like, okay, you know what? I was off my note this day because you 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 know we yeah. can't do it. We can't walk the walk 24, 365. That's just, that's not who we are. That's not. You know what I said the other day, which this is like not really like, like it doesn't really have something to do with manifestation, but even Beyonce is not Beyonce every damn day. Right. Exactly. Exactly. She wake up and her breath stink and she don't want to take care of her kids and she don't want to put on clothes, wash her face. You don't have an off day and you right. are supposed to. You're supposed to have an off day. That's how else would you know that you're, you know, like in a bad mood? How else would you know what's off? 
exactly. you don't have an off day you don't know what's missing like exactly. i know when i have a day like the, when the chair fell on top of me i need to go meditate i need to go relax i need to go get into me right I need to touch me right. however i need to do it exactly but <laughs> i need to get with me you know what right. I, mean? right. I need i'm giving out too much right. i don't have any Right. And that's that's a huge thing. You have to take time to fill your own cup because especially us as moms, we are such huge givers and we're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. And then before we know it, we're empty and we're cranky. And that's when you're at the bottom of your cup because you've given so much of yourself that just the thought of giving to somebody else pisses you off. Like, I don't have shit. What, uh, what do you want? <laughs> what is it? And as a mom, like, we're, because we're such givers, that's, that's for me, that's a huge sign. Like, okay, yeah. right, you need a nap. You need to go let yeah. out. <laughs> you need to, you need to go put some more back in your cup because you in here acting crazy and wild and out. So, yes. <laughs> reason why I started even trying to figure out well why I started my shadow work mm-hmm. because I was like why do I treat my kids like this because mm-hmm. I was so cranky with them and it made me sad because it made me feel like maybe that's why my dad was always cranky or you know because then I started to think in generationally I'm like well, let right. me see if I can fix this because Every person that comes out of one of these houses, when they get upset or they're anxious or they're not feeling good, what they do, they lash out, they throw a thing. I didn't want to keep doing that. Oh, good. Good. And so I didn't want to, I didn't want to be giving that to them because my little girl is extremely emotional and she has some genetic deletions, but she's very intuitive. Like, I think that she can read people's aura, like, personally. But, um, you know, and she has some learning disabilities as far as the the school is concerned. And so when she would get mad, I would notice that she was, like, like really angry. Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder, well, not I wonder, I'm like, damn, I did that to them. Because I showed them that's how you deal when you get frustrated. Okay. Instead of stopping and being emotionally intelligent and saying, mm, I need to take a break. Or just like we're talking about, I don't feel good. Or something's going on. Instead of just exploding. Because mm-hmm. I caught my son one time. I was in the garage. And I caught him. Like, I heard something loud. That nigga threw a chair in here. And I was like, what's your nothing? Right. It's like my stuff. But then it also made me check me too. So that's why I said it was like, you know, I know that Mm -hmm. I have taught them some poop stuff. Girl, we are. I know it. I mean, it's (laughs) huge. But like, that's part of the experience. Exactly. If none of that had happened, if my mom and daddy hadn't been that way, or if my grandpa hadn't been that way, my dad wouldn't have been that way. Right. And and I would not have known that some need to be fixed. So I had a reading a couple of years ago with my friend Fernando. He's a psychic. And he said, it was a mediumship mm-hmm. and dad said what he wasn't able to do. I can there do. There you go. So at first I didn't know what he was talking about, but I think that's definitely it. Right. And so I also recently learned that my mom and dad were, well, my dad more cause my mom's scary, but my dad um, was like a astrologer and he would do oh. readings at home for his friends. But when I started to want to divine and find what I was interested in, I started to feel like, oh, I'm weird. Oh, this and that. But in finding that out, I'm like, I'm not weird. Right. It's not weird. You know, it's obviously in me already. Right. But he was, he stopped abruptly, probably because he kept having to give bad news. Right. And, um, but that just made me feel good because I was like, there's nothing wrong with what I do. Right. And it's also understanding that especially like that weirdness, that thing that makes you stand out, that outcasting is the reason why you're the one to break the generational curses. That's the reason you're you're supposed to stand out. You're supposed to be the person who looks at the situation and go, oh, you know what? This shit stops right here. Yeah, this stops right here. And that's a great thing. Kudos to you, mom. 
like kudos to you because there's so many people who are just like you know they're just looking over it like oh okay well you know it is what it is or they're we so used to it right they're so used to it and situations like that especially with your kids having anger problems meditation when you mm. go meditate you bring your babies in to meditate with you yeah so that's like I'm, I do tarot a little bit. I do tarot <laughs> and I'm, because <laughs> I do it for myself. Like I'm still yeah. learning how to do it. And it's something that I've taught my daughter how to do. And oh. so we do it together and it's helping her get in tune with her spirituality and get right. in tune with herself because honestly, the way of our life or whatever is changing. It's no longer like when they get older, it's not going to be there for them. You know right. Have to learn how to manifest and be intuitive and get into their own spirit on their own terms so it's best that as we learn we, we reach out to our kids and we teach them because yeah. right they're going to teach somebody else and that's well, how you change the right. world you are so right. And I feel like this conversation is, of course, a synchronicity because this is what I needed today. And like, I've been, I finished my vision board. I've been trying to get my son to finish his because I want him to know how important it is for us to be using visualization. So like I wrote behind my pictures, you know, the true intention of whatever the picture symbolizes. Right. And I want, and I showed him that because I want him to be able to realize that, you know, he can create a life that fulfills him right. and that he's, he's more than just this 15 year old kid, you right. know, like there's a whole like really dope, energetic, electrical body exactly. being exactly. Just waiting for you to be like, I'm not just Terrence, right. you know, right. And, like I'm trying, but of course he's been conditioned. And so he's like, oh, mom, you know, sometimes he'll, uh, <laughs> sometimes he'll get into it. But like lately, like you see, I have candles in the back. He's like, are you talking to spirits in here? And I'm like, I'm Maybe. like I am, I'm doing it for you and I'm doing it for me. And okay. you know, I'm, I mean, I'm speaking protection over everything. Right. I you know, like. I want mine and my, my kids, me and my kids, I want us to be protected. Right. And there are so many people who bring that negativity to you. Exactly. And, and a lot of them be kin to mm -hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this and, is a conversation I honestly just had with my daughter because um, I'm a house full of Pisces. My husband, oh. me, girl, it's a lot of water. But we balance each other out. Are people yeah. crying? <laughs> <laughs> sensitive in our own way <laughs> but I was talking to her about that and I was telling her like a lot of the things that I went through as a kid you know a lot of the um, verbal abuse a lot of the um, just not feeling safe that type of thing she doesn't have to go through and mm -hmm. that's a generational curse that I broke for our family like a lot of the women in our family didn't feel safe and yeah. so you don't have this problem anymore as a matter of fact, the only problem you have is waking yourself up to go to school and being about your business. Right. So now that this is clear, now that we've broken this curse, you have every opportunity to be whatever it is that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Don't be lazy in that. Don't be lackadaisy in that. Don't, you know, just think that, oh, okay, well, I'm in school. I'm going to do whatever school activity. There's a life outside of that. Outside of school. Mm -hmm. And they're not even teaching you anything worthwhile, really. Right. And that, that was my, like, a few minutes ago. That was my conversation with her. Like, you have so much potential. It, I'm doing you a disservice if I allow you to just lay up in a bed and not, not hustle. Not right. Do business not find out what it is that you desire to do and show that you can be more than just this right like you're more than just a kid that's going to school you're more than a person that's trying to go to college you have a life and something outside of that and we're gonna work on that now and you know she's like oh, okay mom whatever yeah. oh i'm about to get in that ass you don't understand <laughs> you're about to get on it I think we need a place and I have like, I have, and this is one thing that I can say that I'm really grateful for my family. They did this. They bought some property, you know, so that we would have it. Mm -hmm. There's some land. My aunt Patty is very mean and she, but she may die soon. So 
So we can, so we could probably build a little like a I want to build like a house. Mm-hmm. Like, a, like look like a house, but like do community work there. Right. So like, you know, we could have people come in and teach the kids manifestation, teaching the kids right. about right. acceptance. That's something that's neat. Stuff. And everybody that I've talked to recently kind of has some of the same ideas. So like it can't not happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's already out there. The momentum is already moving. Right. If I build the spot, everybody can just yes. do it. You know yes. what I mean? Our kids need to know that there is, they need to know about this because the more, like, this is catching on like wildfire. This, yeah. this is actually, you know, it's manifesting into reality more and more so every day that, right. you know, and I know we feel like, oh, okay, they're not listening. Like, they hear us. They yeah. hear us. And as soon as, you know, one of their friends say something about it, then I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yeah. About that. But they should, it should be more of a practice with them. It should be something that they, they do often. And I have my own little altar or whatever. And I talk to my daughter about, you know, about praying and about giving thanks and all of that stuff too. But yeah, that's something that they should, they should do. Yeah. And I mean, even if you just want to do like vision boards to start, like that is enough to just at least start. I mean, my son, the the way I kind of got him to sort of understand what I meant was we were supposed to do those vision boards like months ago, but just life got away from me and finding out about Kayla and everything. And child, I have to go back on my anxiety medication so I could make it to work. But that's a story for another day. But I told him, you know, whatever it is that you want right now, put your focus on it. Right. It happens. Right. And, it, and it came to him <clears throat> and he was like, yeah, but so-and-so got it. I'm like, Mm-mm. you don't look at how it came. Right. You look at the fact that it came thank and say right. thank you. Right. And that's, that's the same thing I did with my daughter. I was like, what is it that you want to do? She loves doing hair. She's great at hair. She does my hair often. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, you need to start a page. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to put it out there. And then soon. And then she was like, I've been booked to do hair. People are calling me to do. Exactly. It's yours. The fact that we've cleared a lot of the hardship out of the way is the reason why it's manifesting so fast for them. Yes. That's the thing. They don't have to struggle. Right. They don't have to deal with the, you know, okay, I have to do this or I have to get through this mental anxiety or this fear, or this, that, or whatever. They have their own issues that they're going to have to deal with in their own way, but it's not going to be the things that we deal with. Right. We broke those curses so they don't have that and their things are ready to manifest for them. Mm. And it will. We got to stay on that ass though. Yeah, because I'm like every time I walk past that room and I see that shit on that floor, and I'm like, so you're not done? Because okay. I'm finished. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm done. And I said, I don't be around here um, right. with your face all on when I got my new car now. Okay. And <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a writer, and I do poetry and all of that. And so I wrote this paper, and it was who you know. It was who do you want to be? What's the person that looks like? What it is that you want to be? Mm-hmm. And then what do you think that person has gone through? And we both wrote it. We both wrote it. I wrote one and she wrote one. And then on the back of it, it shows you are already that person. Yeah. You are already that person because you are already going through the things that this person would have to go through. Okay. And so every day you show up as that person. Mm-hmm. And that's what that like I am so big on it. Like so big on get your ass up and let's do this. Let's yeah. do this. Because I'll be damned. When you get ready and go to college, you be called, hey, hey, no, no plankin. No. I manifested right. my life. It's time for you to get on your game. Oh, and manifest your I declared the way for you. Now go on. Go on now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like Terrence is like, okay, well, he's how old is your daughter? Seventeen. Okay, so he's 15. He wants to play basketball. He keeps talking about basketball. So I made him, and also he takes pretty good pictures with his iPhone. So I made him a page for his basketball shots and his phone shots called Mm -hmm. Shots. And I just post, like, you know, stuff like 
basketball, his basketball, whatever. I make boomerangs and stuff like that. But like, he's already getting traction, and mm -hmm. I'm seeing people that are that are liking it, and they're people his age. So if he was really, if he would right, listen into it, right, that I am trying to instruct him, he would he would have all the hairbrushes he wants. You know, right. like, <laughs> hairbrush under the sun, all the little tennis shoes he like, right. all the halls pants, whatever you care about. You know what right. I mean? If you would just take some of my instructions because mother knows what mother's talking about here. Exactly. Like, no, everything that I want has not manifested yet, but I'm okay. Right. So I'm okay. And it's right. going to come. Like, right. I probably just can't hold it yet, which is why I'm still sitting over there at my desk going, <sighs> like, I probably am going to be so busy that if I don't figure out how to organize all my work, Right. I'm not gonna take okay. It. Okay. That's how I'm trying to look at it. Yeah, and that's how you have to look at it. This is only this is only a, a second in your life. This is only a second, a minute, a minuscule second in your life. You are only unhappy for a second. Your happiness is going to overwhelm you. That's mm -hmm. the thing. And once it comes in, you're gonna be like, Hold on, wait, wait, is this real? How what? What? When you start met when that thing comes, you are going to be overwhelmed and surprised. And you are already on your way. You are doing amazing things. I see you. I see you moving and shaking. I am, but I, I feel like in the last three months, I mean, I'm sure as the collective has been getting this message of like move, move, do your mm -hmm. thing. Because I mean, it's about to be a new decade. Right. This is the time. If I don't say I am this person, just like you were talking about writing on the paper, if I'm not the person that I wrote on the paper, right. and if I show up at that as that person every day, by time, right. it, I'm not gonna be ready. Right. And then I'm gonna have to wait a whole other cycle. Okay. And I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I want to be able to, to say, this is my time. Right. right. Because right. I'm ready. For it. You know, like. I call myself a growth warrior because I've been growing since I was three years old or, or less. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And it's like, I, I get it. Like that is what I came here for. And I know I'm going to continue to have to grow through things, mm -hmm. but I am coming to a place where I'm able to accept them. Like I said, when I found out about my little girl, what in the past that would have devastated me mm -hmm. and I would have been like, why do I have to have a slow kid? Right. Or why I have to this and that? But I just was able to say, this is her experience. Right. And I am, am supposed to be learning patience because I don't have none. Right. I need a lot of it. Girl, you know? you love. I you need love. a lot of it. Right. And it's understanding that what you're giving, like you, you have two kids. Mm -hmm. And you have two kids that feel loved and have a mom who's going to work and doing her thing. Like there is somebody who needs to hear that. There's yeah. somebody who needs, who needs to hear your story and needs to be inspired and, and take that into their homes and do the same thing. Like I can get through this. This is just, you know, this is your child's experience. This yeah. is your experience. Mm -hmm. And you are able to, like, it wouldn't be on you if you weren't able to get through this. You only have on you what you can bear. And you got this. You got it. I, mean, I keep wondering. I'm like, who am I that I'm like, yes. Girl, she really, she Every, <laughs> possible. Throw it in the bag. Just right. throw it in the bag. And, like, okay. I dive down to earth with my bag full of bullshit. <laughs> just, like. Prepare to step over every obstacle. Okay. Now, it's you like, like God, what is going on? You leap in tall buildings. You you tearing it down. You tearing your obstacle down. You picking up mountains and throwing them. You the Hulk. You didn't realize that? <laughs> you got it. it now. <laughs> I need to be on your team. You seem to have it down pat. <laughs> Because I was saying the same thing, like, how much, okay, how much shit, how much, how strong do I need to be? <laughs> I mean, before I started this, I was feeling that. And actually, you know when it was, it was right whenever I kind of like had a really large download of information about 
that center that I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, and some other businesses, but it was like the same weekend that Nipsey Hustle was killed. Right. So it was feeling like, why I get the download? Okay. Why I get the download? Because, I mean, I was vibing. We went to Dallas, but I had done something that weekend that was on my list of manifestations. Mm-hmm. So it was like, Cause when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a fashion designer or I wanted to be like, I wanted to mix and mingle with fashion designers. Mm-hmm. So I had gone to Dallas to go meet this fashion designer for this girl. And I said, that is the coolest thing I have ever done. And I said, I was going to do that. Right. And I did it. And then I got the huge download and I was like, okay, so we need a club, like a supper <laughs> club, something nice late at night. So we can go mingle and network, but we can be dressed, you know, like a Harlem Nights, like a, a nice pot nice. club type of club. We need a community center or a school for our kids. We need to have a co-op so we can have all of our businesses in there. We'll do womp, 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 womp. And I didn't know why the hell I was talking about any of this because that's not what the hell I went up there for. Mm-hmm. And then when we got home, I saw that and I hadn't really been following him. Of course, I liked his music, but I didn't know what he was doing. Right. And then to find out that he was living that kind of life, it made me scared of that. Mm-hmm. And, and it shook me. And I tried to quit my job right then. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't need to be here. I need to be, because I needed to go by myself. Because I was <laughs> right. so overwhelmed by the whole thing. And I just, it was so difficult for me to deal with. And then in that moment, I realized this shit is some bullshit. Right. So how do I get out of here right now? Because this is- <laughs> And so I started fighting. I was fighting it really, really hard because I was like, this is fake. This is not even real. Why do I have to do this? Why am I, why do I need money? What do I need for? Money's not even real. They made it. Right. That's That's not how we really live. Let's trade energy. What are we doing? Exactly. So I had to like start, you know, I had to start getting in some books and I had to Abraham Earl Nightingale. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. anybody I could come up with anybody who was law of attraction anybody who was talking about success I was like I, I have to find out what's going on right I finally finally got it and that's when I started the morning vibe because I was like if I don't hit joy I'm not gonna get my stuff right 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 mm-hmm. but you are yeah you are and the thing is not everybody has that privilege like, not everybody has the privilege to see that this is all not what... Yeah. Is. Everybody doesn't have that privilege. And sometimes it feels like a weight. It does. It feels like a lot. Like, oh, okay, this is some bull. Where's my money at, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I not in my vortex? What's going on? Where's, for real, where's my coins at? Like, I get it. I understand. But where's my coins? But everybody doesn't have the privilege. And so you have the privilege of seeing through the veil, you have the privilege of being able to change your life, to be able to change your life, to be the person to start this whole new generation because it starts with you. You're, you yeah. broke a curse and now your kids get to live outside of the generational curses that you broke. She, yeah. she Hulk. Okay. Thor, Mrs. Yeah. Thor. <laughs> I need to pop myself, huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Girl, you are doing you are doing way more than you realize, and you don't don't put it all on you like you're supposed to carry it all yourself, and don't think that you're supposed to do all of this today. Yeah, see, there go the thing. I'm always like, well, where is it at? <laughs> like, like I was telling uh, Brian yesterday, I was like, we don't need to do that right now because we I went to the um, bookstore for a numerology book, and I was like, let me get the cards. Let me get the cards down and then I'll come back and get the numerology book. Because right. my mom did the numerology and my dad did the astrology. Okay. So like she would like draw the charts and he would read them and nobody told me. So of course I thought I was weird for a long time. <laughs> anyway, neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, weird. I mean, we have time. There's time. There like, is. Like, and you're supposed day. to know what you're supposed to know when you're supposed to know it. Right. And no sooner. And you can't put, you can't fault yourself for stuff that you did not know. I went through the same thing. My mom sees, um, sees ghosts. She sees mm. dead people. And for a long time, I was like, like I would hear stuff. 
my kid, she's very intuitive too. Yeah. <laughs> and she would have dreams. And so I would say things and my mom would treat me like I was a lunatic. But come to find out, you see dead people. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, right. We have this stuff going in our family and in our lives and they're afraid of it. They're mm-hmm. afraid of it instead of facing it. Like, it's a They gift. are. It's and a my gift. It's a huge gift. Like, hello? Like, like you said, everyone doesn't have that privilege. Right. So if you have it, you should be like, I'm that nigga. Like my mom, the other day, I was talking to her about something I was reading in the cards and she was like, well, just make sure you're giving the glory to God. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, cause my thing is, is I'm like, I am of God. God is in me. So how can what I'm, be, what I'm doing not be giving glory to God if I'm like, Yes, we did that. Okay. You know if you're saying? paying homage to your gifts, that's yeah. girl, and that's a whole, that's a whole topic because it's like y'all are so wrapped up in something else. <laughs> y'all are so wrapped up in the title, in the actual, you know, in the actual title that you don't even see that if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, God is getting the glory. Absolutely. And, if I'm if I'm honoring my gifts, if I'm walking in the way that I'm supposed to, if I'm breaking these generational curses, even though they don't look like like you don't understand it or my life doesn't look the way you think it is, he's getting the glory in that every day. Every day. Girl. And like it's crazy that you just mentioned that while we were talking about my mom, because when I was doing my board yesterday, she was like kind of beating herself up because we didn't do stuff like that. I said, Well, you just didn't know. Right. You can do about that. And I'm not blaming you. I said, that's why I'm doing it now. Right. I do it. I'm doing it for you now. You know what I mean? Like, and you can still do it together. Yeah, I you, told her. You're still, her. Right. We're still living. We're still, and yeah. that's beautiful. The fact that she's even, you know, even into it. Because, girl, please. please. Yeah. yeah. She's trying to accept <laughs> everything I think she's trying to be accepting of of just me and what I'm going through and because the first when I had that download I called her crying Mm -hmm. like really panicky and I was like this is not real oh my god all of this stuff is fake (laughs) and she was like so you sound like your dad right now So she wondered what books I had been reading because I guess that's what my dad was into. And that's why I wish that, like, I would have known that when he was alive. But now, of course, I mean, I use him in ancestor work or whatever like that. But, like, I just would have loved to have been able to sit and talk with him, you know, in the physical about it and just to hear his notes. Right. Right. But he's there. Yeah. There to work with you. He's I there. Know. And the, the truth of the matter is that he probably wouldn't have been able to talk to you about it in the physical. Yeah, you're right. You know, because a lot of times, like, especially in their days, they were afraid of that. You know, they were very fearful of their gifts. Because I know my yeah. mom was is very fearful of hers. Like, very. Well, if, because if, if everyone is telling you that you're going to go to hell right. for, for just Something being yourself. That you, Right, you were born with, like, okay. It's not like I went out and was like, hmm, I think I'll have a really in tune intuition and I'll just be as like, or or whatever. (laughs) I mean, like, no one speaks that. Right, yes. I'd like to be the weird outcast in the family. Sign me up for that one. (laughs) Yeah. As a kid, my mom said that, like, when I was born, she looked in my eyes and I looked like an old wise woman. And I probably was like, so I'm doing this again. Okay, this bullshit. Oh, this earth shit is ghetto. Oh, <laughs> ghetto. I probably was like, no. And you not put your titty in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but like, I don't, I don't even want to be here. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to be here. <laughs> and like, some days that's me. I'm like, <sighs> you know, but then I realized that like, if I go, I'm done. Right. You know, like I I have to stay until I finish. Whatever I'm yes. supposed to do. Yes, I heard um Lisa Nichols. 
I mm-hmm. love her. And she posted, she just posted this video called Playful Loud. Okay. And before she posted it, I had this. Nipples with a CH? Yeah. I had this. Um, <clears throat> it just came to me. I really want to, like, I'm so big on doing what I'm purposed to do. And it's not even, like I said, it's not even a spiritual thing. It's just a, it's so much a part of who I am that I don't know anything else. And she posted this video and it's about why you're supposed to play full out in your life. And it's why when you're given this life and you're given these dreams and you're given these opportunities to go and do all that you are purpose to do or all that you desire to do because I mean, in life, you're going to die many times. You know, you're going to transform many, many times. You're going to become a different person many, many times. But you leave this earth one good time. And I don't want to, I don't want to be a person with regrets. Yeah. And that's what her video was about. It was about her on this plane and they had to turn the lights out in the plane. They had to turn all the electricity out in the plane. And they're mm-hmm. in this plane and they're literally descending because there's no electricity. There's a fire on the plane. And she talks about this calm that she has the whole time while people are panicking and calling their loved ones and actually throwing up on the plane. And I realized like, that's what I want to be. That's mm-hmm. where I want to be. I want to know that when I go, I did everything I was supposed to do. I let I left it all on the table. I stood for whatever it is that I wanted to stand for, whatever it is in my truth at that moment. I said it, I did it, whatever that is, whatever that looks like. Like, I want that. And I was just like, after that, hey, it is what it is. All this life, all this other shit or whatever, that takes very much so backseat to what it is that I'm supposed to do. Absolutely. So if I need to suck this up while, for, for a moment, oh, okay, I'm going to suck this up for a moment. There's something else on the other side of this. I got to get to that. That's where I got to be. So right. whatever this little bullshit is, okay, I see what you're doing. I see how you're playing this or whatever. This is where I'm trying to get to. So, yeah, we got something bigger. You got something bigger. You got it. You got it. Absolutely. You're there. You're there. Girl, that song, Beyonce, Bigger, that one. That one. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It got me in my feelings, and that's kind of what started my morning vibe. And I was like, you just got to know that, like, you can recreate this shit. Yes. Yes. Transmute the energy. You get you get centered. You get into your knowing. You, you know this is just what it is. You're just passing through. I'm just passing through. This is some bullshit, and I'm passing through. And you change the whole temperature of the room. You do. You do right. it with your calm, with your peace, with your knowing, with your knowing that this is this is just a passing phase. I'm mm. getting through this. Whatever it is. I'm what getting through this. It? You got it. And if it's just life, because Girl, like honestly, sometimes I think like on my last cycle that I that I killed myself to get away from the shit. Mm-hmm. I feel very strongly in that. Okay. And only because I've had those feelings in this life, mm-hmm. you know, I've had a lot of really deep, like, I just want to go. Right. But I know that if I do that, yeah, I'm not, so- I'm not going to get where I'm trying to go. So like wherever I am trying to go, because I don't know yet, whoever I am set the game up. Okay. So this is the plan, all that bullshit they threw in the bag all the difficulties right. they know how many they know how many pieces they have to get to get to the next ring or whatever right. um and so i think it's it's supposed to be hard for me you know what i'm saying i'm supposed to be going through all of these things i'm supposed to be a growth warrior and i'm supposed right. to make that tag a thing and i'm supposed to have my t-shirts that say growth warrior and we right. all wear them because we out here growing okay and that's it but that's the thing is you are going through so much because you have so much to offer. Mm. You have so much to offer. You like, I was just talking to my husband, like we have been through, I'm not even who I was at the beginning of this year. Like 
I am so like both of us, we have changed so drastically. And that's what it is. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody needs to hear your story. Somebody needs to see that you made it. Like your kids need to see that, oh, okay, she's gone through all this shit and she can make it. I can make it too. Yeah. Like, this is nothing. This, hey, mama did it. I can do it. I can do it too. And you did it with all of your emotional shit and all of your, you know, all the shit that you've gone through, those generational curses that you've broken. You've went through it with all of that. So of right. course they can go through it. So yeah, girl, yes, you strong as hell. You're, you're good. You. you got this. <laughs> you got it. I'm glad that I connected with you. I feel like I want to invite you to, okay, so I don't know. Okay, okay. first, before we do that, mm-hmm. um, tell me what your process is for the in-between. Okay. So <clears throat> the in-between is just your moment of transformation. It's the realization that you are not who you were and you are walking towards something bigger and something better. That's all it is. It's like the butterfly and a cocoon and the caterpillar. It's, it's just like that. And my process for the in-between was sitting all that shit down. Everything that no longer resonated with me I had to let it go. It, and that was family, that was friends, that was outdated mindsets, that was absolutely anything that I had, the things that I was doing when I was in a place of lack mm-hmm. and the things that I'm doing to get to this abundance. Like, I can't do those things anymore. And it was mm-hmm. setting that shit down, realizing that, I can't take this with me. It no longer has a place. I've outgrown it. It's outdated. I don't want to be here. I don't want to talk to you because I, me and you don't resonate with each other. Like, it just is what it is. It's not a, you know, I don't think I'm better than you. It is what it is. We good. If we meant to be friends or vibe or whatever, then we'll meet each other along the road. But I when don't you- want to do that. Hi. Right? Girl, hi. I, it's and that's that's pretty much what it is and forgiving myself. Mm, okay. Because you know, it's so easy to get caught up in, well, I don't have this and I'm not here and I'm not there and I didn't know this and I I I, I wish I would have known better and I wish I would have done you knew what you knew when you were supposed to do it. Yeah. That's that's just what it is. You learn this life as you're supposed to learn it and so forgive yourself. And then as you know what you're supposed to know, and as you as you take in all of that information, to do it, to be a better person. And it's not like carrying it all with you at, at one point in time and just doing it all. It's one single step at a time, mm-hmm. one moment of good luck, like one good deed, one good deed at a time. I can be nice to you, even though you're an asshole. I can mm-hmm. be nice to you. And yeah, get out my face. I don't want to hear you because this niceness only lasts for 2.5 seconds. I might punch you in the next one, but I'm going to be nice to you right now. It's just one good deed at a time. Yeah. And I'm glad you said that because I mean, that kind of goes back to that love and light all the time thing. Like, is it possible? Because that's not how people are. Okay. That's not, girl, I don't even try that. I don't try that. We're human. We human. You're going to piss me off. I'm going to tell you how I feel, and that's just what it is. That's don't push me. I'm a nice person, but don't push me. Don't right. push me because I clear the whole fucking room out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Real quick. Everybody can get some. Everybody Real quick. Can get some. I'll but give a damn who you is. Okay. You and your mama. You and your mama. But that's, I mean, Especially that's pretty much her. how it is. Okay. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense and I feel like that's kind of like I said r- right when I needed that message that's what you were kind of delivering oh, I'm and I've been doing a real job of accepting the things that are right. and you know what I can't change right now I can't change it like right. 
And I'll tell you this, I was living less than paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. you know? And that was part of the reason why I wanted to start this because I'm like, my son needs a car. All these things, I need to fix my credit. I got to get this on. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like the overload of, of, oh, I don't have, oh, I don't have, oh, I don't have. But I had to let that go. Mm -hmm. Because in order for me to get there, I got to vibe right so I can get my stuff. Right. And you, you know? also have to allow. That's another thing. Allow it to come in. Because we get so... We get so into it has to be this way and this way and this way and this way and this way. Well, if I do it this way, then this and this and this and this. And the thing that I've been so grateful for, and I've told I've told my kid, like we've never had money. I have never had money, but favor has opened doors that money could never open. Mm. And I had to allow favor to go before me and open doors. Mm. That is why I treat the janitor the same way as I treat the person who owns the building because favor has done so much for me. Like I've been homeless with an infant kid. Yeah. And then I've popped up and had a whole house. Mm. Okay. That's favor. That is favor with no money, with no job. I've had things given to me. Here, here you go. Oh, you need this? Oh, here it is. Like, we have to allow. Mm -hmm. Allow. And that's why I say, if you have a, if you need help to ask for help, ask because they are willing to help. The, the universe is willing to give you exactly what you want and what you need without credit, without money, without anything else except for absolute favor and because you deserve it and because you're aligned with what you're supposed to have. Right. And yeah. All of allowing. Right. But it's, that's like what I was telling my son about how it comes. It's like you have to be open to it because you don't know. You don't know. Right. Right. You absolutely yeah. don't know. Like, like I meet people all the time and I just don't know. I don't know. Exactly. One of them is the person. You know what I mean? Like somebody that I've met is the person that's going to be like, hey, check this person out. Right. Hey, do this. You know, exactly. So, like I just, that's why I don't, I mean, I like networking, but I find it tough because a lot of people don't want to collab. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's a black thing or what, but I'm like, you can't be me and I can't be you. Right. So we could collab or we could not collab. Whatever you create is never going to be what I'm creating. Right. And that's, yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's really tough. And I am such, honestly, I'm such a shy person. Like I have to take a couple shots and drink up or whatever. So that part of me can come out so that I can be that person to allow the thing to come in. Cause mm -hmm. any other time I'll be in a corner, like, look, we can go now. <laughs> we can go now. Like, and you just oh. have to be in the space of, you know, like, Whatever's supposed to be for me will be for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm not supposed to fight you over it. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. I'm I mean, if I have to over. fight for it, then it must not be mine. Exactly. It's going to be for me. We're not going to fight. And I'm going to allow it to come to me because I need it. And th or this is what's necessary for us to get to this point. If this is, this is what I'm supposed to do, then these people are going to come. Right. And that's. And I'm just going to get in place where I'm supposed to be. And hey, bring them out. Let's, let's right. do this. <laughs> Run them through here. I like that. So I really appreciate you coming on and talking to me. And it was nice to have somebody to talk to about um, magic or oh. manifestation. <laughs> however you choose to label it. <laughs> um, so why don't you tell everybody where they can find you? Okay, I am on Instagram as only one sapphire. That's only the number one and sapphire. S a p p h i r e. I am on YouTube as Sapphire Speaks. Okay, girl. Well, thanks again for coming on. All right, so that was this week's episode. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you learned something. Um, I know I did in listening back. One of the things I really like about listening back to these episodes and editing them is that the messages that I need at the time are always inside of them. So I hope that you guys got what you needed and that you come back next week when Fernando reads my ass on my poor boundaries with my baby. 
Um, yes. And don't forget, last chance, holiday market, ladies take the stage, Eventbrite, 